and welcome to Intel Abad. But before we begin the session, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. In today's session, we will understand all about NoSQL. So NoSQL is a database management strategy that supports a wide range of data structures, including key value, document, columnar, and graph formats. A NoSQL database is neither relational, distributed, flexible, or scalable. So without further ado, let's have a look at the agenda for today's video. So first thing we will see what is NoSQL database. Then we move on to the before NoSQL, that is why do we use NoSQL. Then a brief history. After that, we will see the classification of NoSQL and some popular NoSQL. After that, we'll move on to the pros and cons of NoSQL and lastly, the conclusion. So without any further ado, let's start with the session. So let's start with our first agenda that is what is NoSQL database. NoSQL is a non-relational database management system that does not require a defined schema. It eliminates joins and is simple to scale. The main reason for utilizing a NoSQL database is for dispersed data stores with massive data storage requirements. Big data and real-time web apps employ NoSQL. Every day, firms like Twitter, Facebook, and Google capture gigabytes of consumer data. It was the year 1998 when Carl Strauss proposed the NoSQL approach. With that, let's move on to our next agenda that is before NoSQL. That is, why do we use NoSQL and the difference between SQL and NoSQL? So, traditional RDBMS uses SQL syntax to store and retrieve data for further insight. On the other hand, a NoSQL database system includes a broad range of database systems capable of storing structured, semi-structured, unstructured, and polymorphic data. Now let's learn about NoSQL with a diagram in this NoSQL database. The notion of NoSQL databases gained popularity among internet global giants such as Google, Facebook, and Amazon, which deal with massive amounts of data. When you utilize RDBMS for large amounts of data, the system response time gets sluggish. We could scale up our systems by updating our existing hardware to overcome this challenge. This procedure is very costly. The alternative for this issue is to distribute database load on multiple hosts whenever the load increases. This method is known as scaling out. No SQL database is non-relational. So it scales out better than relational databases as they're designed with web applications in mind. Let's move on to our next agenda that is a brief history of NoSQL database. NoSQL has become increasingly popular as a complementary tool to traditional SQL approaches to databases and database management. As we know, NoSQL does not follow the same relational model that SQL does, which allows it to do quite a lot powerful things. More importantly, it is very flexible and scalable, which is excellent for newer projects that do not have the time or budget to spend on designing an SQL database. It was first in the year 1998 that Carlos Strozzi used the term NoSQL for his lightweight open source relational database. In the year 2000, Graph Database Neo4j is launched. 2004, Google Bigtable is launched. In the year 2005, CouchDB was launched. In the year 2007, the research paper on Amazon Dynamo is released. The 2008, Facebook open sources the Cassandra project. Then the year 2009, the term NoSQL was reintroduced. Now we come to the next agenda that is classification of NoSQL databases and some of the popular NoSQL databases. Now there are four types of NoSQL databases. Each group has its own set of characteristics and limits. None of the databases mentioned above are superior at solving all of the difficulties. Users should choose the database depending on their product requirement. We have four types. First one is key value pair based. Then we have column oriented graph. Third one is graphs based. The last one is document document oriented. Now we'll discuss each one of these in detail. Key value pairs are used to store data. It is built to manage a large amount of data and a heavy load. Key value pair storage Databases store data as a hash table, with each key being unique and the value being anything from JSON to blobs, that is, binary large objects. It is a very simple NoSQL database sample. This type of NoSQL database is used to store collections, dictionaries, associative arrays, and other data. Key value stores assist developers in storing schemaless data. They're most effective for shopping cart content. Redis, Dynamo, and Ryuk are some NoSQL examples of key pairs stored database. Bases. They're all based on Amazon's Dynamo paper. Next, we'll discuss column-oriented. Column-oriented databases work on columns and are based on big table paper by Google. Every column is treated separately. Values in single column databases are stored contiguously. Because the data is easily available in a column, they provide excellent performance in aggregation queries such as sum, count, average, min, and so on. 
Column based NoSQL databases are commonly used to handle data warehouses, corporate intelligence, CRM, library card catalogs, and other applications. Overall, column stored databases are suitable for analytics and reporting because of their rapid querying capabilities and ability to contain massive amounts of data without incurring a lot of overhead. Column based database NoSQL query examples include EdgeBase. Cassandra and Hypertable. Next, we come to graph-based database. A graph database maintains entities as well as the relationships among these entities. The entity is presented as a node with the relationship represented as edges. An edge represents a connection between two nodes. Every node and edge is identified by a unique identifier. Let's consider an example here. E-commerce recommendation engines employ graph databases to give customers accurate suggestions and updates on new goods improving sales and meeting customer demands. A graph database is multi-relations, as opposed to a relational database, where tables are loosely connected. Relationship traversal is quick since they're already in the database and do not need to be calculated. Graph databases are commonly used for social networks, logistics, and topographical data. Popular graph-based databases include Neo4j, Infinite Graph, and OrientDB. With that, we come to our next type that is document-based database. So, a document-oriented database is a type of database that operates based on document rather than precisely defined tables of information. The document-oriented database is essential for gathering data from documents and converting it into a searchable structured format. The file is saved in JSON or XML format. The value is recognized by the database and may be queried. So here is a file that contains book data. This document is a JSON document with tags and values that define a book, such as a book title, author, release date, publisher, and price. Some widely used document-based databases such as Amazon SimpleDB, CouchDB, MongoDB, Ryuk, Lotus Notes, etc. Let's move on to our next agenda that is pros and cons of NoSQL database. First, let's discuss the pros. It can easily handle big data. It provides fast performance and horizontal scalability. NoSQL databases don't need a dedicated high-performance server. No single point of failure that is more reliable. It can serve as the primary data source for online applications. It handles big data, which manages data velocity, variety, volume, and complexity. Eliminates the need for a specific caching layer to store data. It offers a flexible schema design that can easily be altered without downtime or service disruption. Now let's discuss the cons. There are no standardization rules, limited query capabilities, RDBMS databases and tools are comparatively mature. It does not offer any traditional database capabilities like consistency when multiple transactions are performed simultaneously. The learning curve is stiff for new developers. When the volume of data increases, it is difficult to maintain unique values as keys become difficult. It does not work as well with relational data. Open source options are so not popular for enterprise. With that, we have reached the conclusion. So today we covered what exactly NoSQL is, the types, and some famous NoSQL databases, and also why we are using this technology. And we understood NoSQL is a non-relational database management system that does not require a fixed schema, eliminates joins, and is simple to grow. NoSQL can also handle organized, semi-structured, and unstructured data as well. The notion of NoSQL databases gained popularity among internet giants such as Google, Meta, that is Facebook, and Amazon, which deal with massive amounts of data. And that is all for this video. Thank you everyone for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Just a quick info guys. Intellipad provides Microsoft SQL certification training in partnership with Microsoft. The course link of which is given in the description below.